the French are fighting against everyone, like usual. So we are back here in our little French campaign, where we're basically fighting as many nations, as many nations as we can, and um, slowly but surely we are pulling out of this as a winning victor. Um, we've almost unite, we almost killed off all um, all European or not European, but all ah uh, dang. Well, we were winning there. Basically, we're losing in our colonies, but we're winning, like, in everywhere else. And right now, the Austrians cannot gain a foothold on me. And the Tom says all this other stuff, we should outfit an expedition. And we keep outfitting an expedition, hoping that we will, uh, gain it. And I think the way that, that that whole expedition thing works is that you keep spending money until one of the other great powers gives up. And, yeah, we just keep on, like... We're right now trying to push out this, you not European army, but uh, oh dang, yeah, I think I know where that is. That's in this little place right over here, right? Yep, yep, yeah. It seems like you generally. It seems like the uh, British have conquered most of our colonies, which I did not. It's not like I didn't see that one coming. It was kind of what I expected actually, because I just I don't have enough troops in my colonies, and you know after this episode, I'm probably gonna have to keep up my border but anyways in every other place it seems like they can't I wouldn't for lack of a better word they can't break through my lines like they literally can't break through my lines they keep trying to like push through and keep like trying to overswarm me but my line is held strong this entire line is held strong um I'm not for the sake of arguments I'm not gonna try to defend this area right here because well, actually, we probably could. Oh, wait. Whoops. Yeah, if I just send this army right here, because that way it just beefs up this border. Um, and then right over here, we have... Oh, shoot. Dang it. Okay, we should outfit. We should try again. We have a big anti battle going on right there. And more land I have to defend against Imperialists. But for generally, for the most part, it seems like we are... The winning factors and we have a huge army right here just like chilling okay you guys will be the defenders of din of dingen that way we have yeah that should defend that should keep our entire line defended against whatever evils there may be and it seems like our vassal the uh spanish are actually starting to move out a little bit which you know is a good thing is a good thing and we're still winning this war <laughs> that's the only thing i gotta say and you know what I'm thinking? You know what I might do? Because the United States... The United States has a lot to gain from this. So I'm going to see if I can get them in on this war. The United States they accept our military lines. And once I can, I'm going to call them in. Because, yeah, you see, the war is likely. And with that... Wait. With that, they will... This will be my opportunity to free all of the United States from the Great British. Okay, so call an ally. Call an ally likely. Let's see, will they join in? Yes! Oh, yes! Okay. So, everyone, this is officially the first Great War. Um, we have the sides set apart. It was us with our now renewed U with our now renewed USA forces, which should be way better than the uh, British forces over here. They should be able to smoke through uh, all this. And, oh my goodness, now the British are in for it. Now the British are in for it. We have a great alliance now torn. And we have this little army right here trying to free itself from my big gigantic emperor's grasp. And I'm going to divide these guys because I don't want nutrition to kill them all. Okay, you guys go right here. You guys will hunt down this little army over there. Okay, there. Yeah, that, that that's not even an army. But yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Th this is like this is like a great moment of our turn. This is like the turning point of the war. And actually, this is really bad because I'm giving America a lot of credit. But yes, America just saved our bacon. Good job, USA. Good job. And your throne is innocent. Yes, I realize that. Yes, I realize the fairy is closed. Yes, I realize he was innocent. I, I realize that it wasn't like something I didn't just... Didn't just realize at the last second. No, I realized a while back that he was innocent. I just couldn't do anything about it. Okay. So apparently some of these guys got off... I'm going to have to go deal with this. Crush them. Crush these stupid Russians for going into my back of my lines. Okay. 
Um, send some more of my troops to go guard up this border. And, yeah, okay. First Great War. This, this has officially become the First Great War. And, um, America is really going to have to pull some of their weight. Because I've been fighting this war kind of by myself for a really long time. Um, Le Tomps, Revolution, Jahor, or Japor. And, they seem to be, yes, they seem to be, like, in, destroying the UK. And we seem to be reaching our goals quite rapidly, actually. Which is quite amazing. And you know what? Since I've been saving up a lot of my infamy for this, I'm going to add my own war goal. And what should I do? I'm only doing something for Poland, so I don't need to do that. Um, should I get something for my own? Hmm. Let me see. What could I do that would completely, that would help me out and completely destroy them? Um, I could add the goal of, like, of, like, making Ukraine. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this for a second. We, we could do, use better labor spies. Okay. We got, okay, everyone's not feeling nutrition. Yeah, everyone's not feeling nutrition values, so that's really good. All you guys move in. Go hit these, go hit these Russians with all you got. Move them out of my country. That's basically what I'm saying. Thoroughly institute. All right. Hmm. Yeah, but we could, because everything's 25% off when you're at war with this power. Like, because of its great war status. Like, normally that would be like, that would normally be about 1.9 infamy, or 5 infamy. It's only about 1. And just so you know, example, that's usually about 10 infamy. It's only giving me 3.6 infamy. So I could definitely, mmm. You know, I could definitely do as much as I could and just completely split up Austria, which should I do? Should I make that my goal? Well, I definitely want Poland to be back into this, so... Hmm. Well, the good thing about this, though, is that United States can't actually get out of the war anymore because... Yeah, let me... They can't get out of the war because this is a great war, so that means that this is fought until everyone's either dead or dying. So, wow, they still haven't finished this? Really? Okay, go down there and help them. And is anyone over here? No. Really, no one decided to attack Korea. Korea is like my safest place right now in my realm. Um, right over here, though, we have our beefed up borders. And, yeah, they're not going to be able to break through my line anytime soon. Um, what we should do, though, is... I definitely want to punish Austria if we do get through this. And we definitely need to add more. So, hmm... Russia, Russia, well, see, but the problem is that I really don't want anything from them. Like, there's really not that much that really be that of interest to me. Because the only nation, ironically, the only nation I could go to war and go, like, start hitting on is the Germans, because they're right next to me. But, or the Prussians, which I, or the Belgians, which I will actually go in and go kick out Belgium in a couple of turns, but for right now, they're safe. So, hmm. You know, I'll come back when I've decided fully of this. Decide fully of this. Whew! Wow! That was a more difficult decision than I ever thought in my life. So, as you can see, I made the decision what I'm gonna do. And what I decided to do, drum roll please! Duh! Okay. What I decided to do was I decided to add the war goal of, of acquiring Ireland. And I know what you're saying, James, you never mentioned you wanted to conquer Ireland. I never did, until I actually started to think about it. I mean, Ireland would be a great place to have, you know, to kind of own and to kind of like shield off on the British. That way we would have a uh, great foothold against them and, you know, instantly gain like a great population boost. So, I think I'm probably going to do that. And with the war going as it is, I don't expect my problem. So, yeah. And if you guys are wondering why I did not flee the rest of Poland... I was just like, you know, I'm already spending like a core. Okay, by the way, good job, everyone. I'm already spending like a core to go in and fight for this. And honestly, this is only like two or three regions. And they're already like, look at the crisis mode. Yeah, they would already be freed. So, you know, that wouldn't gain me much. But the opportunity to gain Dublin, I think, is a much... Is an opportunity I have to take. So, that's what I'm going to do. And with how thing, everything is going now... I don't think I have too much difficulty. Their beliefs must be respected. 
Um, plus, this will significantly weaken the um, Russian, I mean, not Russian, um, this will weaken the British by a lot. Like, the British will not be able to, they will not, they will be starting to decline in power, which is what we need for us to slowly but surely overwhelm them and gain the upper advantage. Plus, we'll gain, like, instant, like, retreat from infantry, and, by the way, this place over here, I realized something, they can't actually get through any of this. Because I have both the Suez Canal and I have both Gibraltar, so they're completely blocked off and they can't get any of the troops over here and we open everything because I can actually do that right now I can actually support a lot of stuff that have like 1.2 Le Tomps tensions dissipate but Le Tomps is it finally gonna have a great war title oh no what really Le Tomps the times you're not in the times right now but right now going through a major war that could potentially have a lasting impact and you know what Germany would you guys give us military access they would oh thank you okay so what we're gonna slowly do since now since we have military access is we're gonna start sending um, big gigantic armies like this to go in and go kill off these little tiny states of Germany because I'm getting really sick and tired of all of this little tiny like little tiny states just like oh yeah we're gonna enter your land anytime we want so we should try again yeah I'm gonna keep trying and oh oh yes 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 so everyone, let's see, what do we need? Do we need anything else? Has cracking, gas defense, has cracking any war, any country at war with, have gas capabilities? Hmm, not exactly what I wanted to hear, but anyways, we have gas capabilities, which means now we should be, let me just, I'll do a slight test with a little bit more advanced army, see if we can, let's see, how they do. Uh, pause. Pause. Um, nope, we do not have gas capabilities yet, and that was just a really bad, wasteful move on my part. Yep, yep, that was a really bad, wasteful move, but I'll keep it right there still. And yeah, it seems like the Austrians aren't really trying to push, but I'm not really trying to push them back. At least not hard. I'm just trying to, like, destroy all the little vassal states. Anyways, this is... Yeah, once we get, once officially we get gas attacks, we can officially start moving in and doing a lot more. 24, 14 hour days, minimum safety regulations extended. Is anyone on healthcare? Yeah, please, I'm just gonna give you guys healthcare. Uh, I can't do, oh yes, I can do it during war, yes. Okay, healthcare is good. Because I need to make you guys happy so you guys don't kill me. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna keep our soldiers right there. This little state of right here. Will you guys accept our proposed peace? They would accept this, demand this. Yep. Finally. So now we got this. Now let's just keep moving in. We're just going to keep, like, taking out all these little tiny states. Every single one of these little tiny German states are now going to feel the wrath of me. Except for this one, Nasu, which is still my greatest ally to this day. Because it's, like, the only one that actually stood with me. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is, like, this is, like, the first time I've ever, like, Okay, reaction aid, whatever. 10%, because they're going to be gone in a couple days, honestly. And it seems like the conservatives are starting to inch out, at least they need to learn how to adapt, are starting to inch out a uh, war declaration, which is really good. That means we're starting to, like, slowly branch out and... How oh, shoot! Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Forgot about these guys. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yes! We got that just in time. We got that just in time before that happened, and it seems like... Seems like France has finally cleaned up some of the act over here. Um, they, we do have some, like, Russians. Oh, shoot. We should probably gain re-control of Gibraltar. Because Gibraltar's a really major port. And if we don't gain control, then it's just going to flood in with, like, tons of soldiers and stuff. We don't need that. But it seems like America's... America seems to be really beefing up our army. And I'm going to add one more war goal. Right here. Which is, I want to acquire the other part of Ireland. Which is this lower part right here. What is this called? Um, Molster. Molster. Okay, so let's go right here. Go to Great Britain. Acquire another core of Ulster. Ulster. Wait, no, I don't want Ulster. I don't want the northern part. I Molster. There we go. Molster, not Ulster. Even though, hmm, would also be a better place now. It would not. Molster. There we go. Molster. Um, let's do it. Okay, now I got 22.2 in for me. 
But if we can win this, then and we have all of, we have basically taken United Kingdom and basically displaced them. They are no longer the United Kingdom. They are now the uh, little bit of a lesser United Kingdom, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's move some of our armies over here to kind of make sure we have a good defensive line. Over here, we got this little nation under underneath our control. So, propose peace. They will accept this offer. Proceed. Military capulation. Okay. Next move in right there. Yeah. Now we're just, yeah, we're just now just starting to beat up on all these little tiny states that did not, did not like the idea of us being in control. Okay. I'm still being very cautious over here. Um, ah, dang. If I was to get these guys free, I'd have to free the entire... You know what, Pruitt, let's try it. Let's try to take over all this region, because if I'm going to fight this region, I'm going to need to take over also Wattenberg, because this region will not let us recross once we don't, once we own it. And 4.6, yeah, seems like, oh, dang, they're still alive. I thought they would be dead. You guys go in, go crush them. You guys go in, go crush them. <sighs> the first great war. First great war. That's all I got to say. It's like really tedious and kind of like, a little bit scared. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Okay. Okay. You know what? Move back in. Move. You guys, um, retreat. Retreat behind the lines. We need to retreat behind the lines quickly. We need to retreat behind the lines quick. Quick. Retreat behind the lines. We need to get back in position. Yeah, they, they did a good counterattack. We don't have a... Come on, kill them. Kill them all before... Why are you guys having such trouble killing just a little tiny nade on me? We make sure... Yeah, we need to make sure we get back in position. Um... How are we doing over here in this front? Uh, we got a good position set up. Um, I'm going to go send some help over here to the French. I mean, not the French, the Spanish, duh. And I'm going to go send some help over here. Um, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking, who sh should I add anyone in this war? Um, I'm not sure, because maybe it's Italy might be a great ally. But I just have to wait for them to, like, hmm, I don't know. This is like, this is such an evenly fought battle. I mean, right now we are, some of us are winning, some of us are losing. Okay, we crushed those guys. We can now move. Okay, we actually support those guys. So let's just keep them right there. And we have our other little tiny nations. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to go send one of these guys to go out and go conquer another little tiny nation. Um, you guys go right there. Yeah, we're just trying to make sure that we have all these guys over here dealt with so that we don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, yeah, <laughs> even though I don't think they would do much, it's still good to have them underneath our control. And yet they completely like beefed up the boys again and this little troop is going to die. And we are the first to the North Pole. Yes. Okay. Now we're finally um, intervening immediately. Now we're finally starting to beef up our industry. I mean, now we're second everything. Um, we have officially moved in. Okay. I'm going to move these guys into Gibraltar because we need to regain that little port. And I'm going to keep a constant eye on that little tiny nation to make sure that we don't lose anything. And, okay, we're just slowly and surely just taking over all this little tiny nations. Yes. Wherever that was, yes. Okay, we still haven't killed these guys. They're almost dead. They're, like, so almost dead. And I'm probably going to go send this 100 army down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to I'm probably going to go send this 100 army down, yeah, to go right here to go help us with our little Madrid problem but as soon as we gain back control of Gibraltar I'll feel much more safe because this is really ah dang yep this is really where it has to take place but we have to like come away with the win because of, because of reasons and how are we doing with our little idea so I also realized while I was gone that we could make battleships I was like oh squee cool problem is though is that no, I'm just going to support everything. Let's see if that helps. That's going to bankrupt me. No, really? Wow. So I'm not bankrupt when I support every single one of my factories. Which is good. So that means everyone should stay in business. But anyways, um, what I realized is that... Ah, go away. Go away. Ah, uh, yep. I know exactly what battle that one is. Can use gas attacks! What? What? Okay, okay, we gotta use this. We gotta use this. This is this is our chance. Okay, we gotta do this before any other power gets any more. Okay, we're gonna test it first on the Russians to see if it actually does work as intended. Okay, let me see. So let me see. Um, 
Let me see. Does this does this actually do what I think it does? Are we doing gas attacks? We are doing gas attacks. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This this is like a good motivator. Okay. So everyone start being sent in. This is like this is what we needed. So now that we have a constant advantage of having gas attacks, um, that means um, this is going to be very devastating for all the uh, Russians, Gibraltians, whatever, whoever it is in this war is. Because gas attacks is like the most damaging thing you can have, okay? And you guys are basically done out of Saxony. I could add a war of conquest, but that's going to be pretty much useless. Yep. Fine, you guys can get out of the war. You guys, you guys seem pretty cool. I'm going to have to get you guys out of the war now, too. Thank you. Okay. Um, next, move into Brunswick. Okay, you guys move into Denso. Yeah, I'm just trying to take over all the sands, but... with Oh my goodness, with gas attacks, there's so much possibility now. There is so much possibility. Um, we can even... I'm just going to take a little test run. Um, I'm still working. Okay. Yeah, I was just talking to my mom there for a second. Um, just have... Yeah, gas attacks. Yeah, gas attacks now on them. Let me see how it works against this little tiny nation. Yeah, my... The amount of times I'm going to be winning now are much more higher. Over here, I'm using gas attacks. How's it going? Um, yeah, I won that. I knew that. And over here, I'm still losing. How is that possible? I'm using, like, a gas attack... Hmm, three, negative one, crossing, digged in, hmm, still losing, but gas attack slowly starts to wane on everyone's thoughts, oh shoot, dang, that was actually a bad move on my part, because they were dug in, yeah, that's really where, that's really where I'm losing, okay, you guys just retreat, there's no point in, like, trying to fight that battle right there, but anyways, yeah, gas attack still, even though I lost that, gas attacks in every other situation, good. And how are we doing down here? Yes, you see, like, over here, this was a good idea. Gas attacks over here are working. Oh, shoot. Go back to Gibraltar, please. We don't we don't need him to take down Gibraltar, please. We really need to make sure we keep control of Gibraltar. Because that's, like, the port we need to make sure. Okay. Let's go. Battle of Manga. We won. We need to make sure we keep pushing the Russians out. Over here, gas attacks. <laughs> okay. And apparently they can cross the ocean, so... I'm just gonna keep all my soldiers right here. Or at least half of my soldiers right there. And apparently, we lost the Battle of Strattenburg, which I didn't even know there was a Battle of Strattenburg. So that means I know exactly what's happening right now. They are trying to break through... Yep, they're trying to break through my lines. They're trying to break through my lines. Um, over here, Nasu, basically the post peace. Yep. Great military war capulation. How many more do we have? Um, Mettenberg. Mettenberg has to be declared peace. Asphalt. Okay, proposed peace. Okay, so. How many regions is that? Okay. How many more regions do we have in this little tiny nations? Okay, we really just have two more regions. So, you know, I'm going to go send these guys right here. And I'm going to go send these guys back. Because we actually need to make sure that we do not have any gaps in our military. So you guys are going to go back to make sure Strattenburg is not conquered. Because we can't... Because once, once they gain a foothold, they're not going to let us through. Keep going. Just keep going. Okay, and we have our men moving into Metchenburg. Okay, this could come in handy. Oh, man. This is going to be a tense battle. I already know. We're going to hope that our gas attack abilities are give us the ultimate advantage. Yes, our gas attack abilities are giving us the ultimate advantage. We're killing way more of them than they... Okay, we were killing way more of them. Um, this is definitely going to be an intense battle. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and it's mainly because of our gas attack abilities that we oh, dug in. Dang. Okay, seems like... Yes, and it seems like we won a battle over here. I didn't even know we were fighting. Um, and the Toms. I'm just going to catch up on the Toms. The Times, um, American Chinese Relations. The first in North Pole. That's really great. And we're second now in terms of prestige, which is really good. Um, okay. We also got Poland. We also got all this. Yeah, we're just, we're just doing good. Okay. Next, you guys move in right there. That should completely... This should finish off the rest of these little tiny vassal states. 
So we no longer have to deal with little tiny nations. We just now have to deal with a big gigantic nation. Okay, we're still winning. Yes, gas attacks are still proving the victor. Okay, over here. Over here, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of depth. Over here, we are um, cleaning up the mess they made. Cleaning up the mess the uh, British made. We're completely winning now due to gas attacks. This is like an above, above Sleeta honor. Is America still with us? America is still with us. Um, I, I'm kind of shocked they did not like add a war goal of, you know, taking all of Oregon, but apparently not. Apparently not. That's fine. That's fine. Um, any more battles that we could possibly do? Um, yes, America seems to be like taking over this little part again. Um, we're completely, I think we're completely like taking off from our colonies. Our colonies are just basically dead. The only ones that are still fighting are Ethiopia. Which, Ethiopia hated us, so this is just kind of like a... Oh, wow. Ethiopia, you guys are good. And, man, this might be like a three-part episode. A three-part, but... Ugh. It's becoming like, really... This is becoming the war. This is the war. And with gas attacks, it's... It's damaging. Let me just say that much. Yes! Wait, that was a different battle, but... It's still amazing, nonetheless, that we just won a 3.5 battle. Um... 8.2, yes. Okay, that should give us a lot of seeds. What do we need to get to get this end? Hmm. Let's see. Asphalt, I can't really declare peace. Wattenberg, would you guys accept peace? They would not accept it, and I can't get out of that, so. Menschenberg, I know you guys are basically dead. And you guys basically want peace. They will accept this offer. Okay, fine. World Compiculation, okay. Now we just have just Donschnink. Really? Danzing declared war on us? Okay. Abaddon and all these other little places. Hmm. Okay. Let me go deal with Danzing right now. Okay. And the rest of these places. Okay. We got, yeah, we got back this. Baden's back under our control. Um. We got them back under our control. Um. <clears throat> okay. You know what? Since gas attacks has given me such confidence and a really, a lot of, it's, this is the only time we're ever going to be able to do this. We're going to push like heck towards the Pushkin line. I mean the rush, the, uh, the line basically. We're going to push like, no, pu no one has pushed ever before. We're going to move right here. We're going to move our troops right there. We're going to... Uh, we're going we're going complete offensive right now we're going complete offensive and if if they hold us we're dead okay that should be good for now um we're also gonna send these guys over here to go try to go gas them and yeah the rest of these guys can stay on the lines okay this is our complete and other counter attack let's see if it works how are we doing right here gas attacks yes Okay, the Russians are trying to beat us right there, but they're losing quite heavily because of gas attacks. Gas attacks is just slowly starting to, yeah, the gas attacks is really going to give us the advantage here. That's really where, that's really where this is really coming in handy. Um, gas attacks here is not really helping us out because we have a little bit too big of an army. Um, we're now just trying to, we're doing a complete and other offensive attack. We're going to see if this, okay, we lost a little major battle, but we won a big major battle. Um, seems like we have some Russian sca scramblers just staying there trying to, like, gain as much intel as it can. Um, not the best idea. And don't shake the times. Italy fears our might. Italy, you're our friend. You should not fear our might. I mean, this is not a time. Okay, you guys get a fine. Okay. We have these guys left. Okay, now that I got this done with, I'm going to, um, this would be a good idea. I'm just going to slightly move in my... No, this would be a very bad idea. You guys move all the way back to my my land. Regain the numbers you need to. And then we're going to see how this gigantic move to the front is. So far, it's quite successful. We're beating back... Yeah, we're, we're beating back all these guys. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, right here we got this. You guys move in. Oh my goodness. This 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 is really nerve-wracking too because this, this, is, this is it. If, I, if, if this fails... I'll shoot. You know, I probably should have, probably should have got some more defenses. Okay. Okay, there we go. Defeated these guys. Um, you guys move back into place. 
We want to make sure that we don't have any gaps in our military. Yes. Okay, yes! And we got gas attacks in our advantage. Okay, you guys, you guys move right here. Um, you guys move right there. You guys, uh, move right here. Yeah, we're... Our, our complete another counterattack. It's, com uh, it's completely thrown them off guard. We're probably going to win a lot doing this war. Or this push. Um... Okay, okay, okay. We got our first line. We got a couple of our lines starting to be built. Um, go right here to Venice. Um, go right here to Udain. Um, the Treviso troops, which I just sent, should be right. Should be there in a couple days. So as long as we don't lose anything in a couple days. Okay, women's status. Just gave me 4.8 infamy. Why not? Uh, 4.8. Endurance, okay. Um, we now got that. Go right here. Troops are still winning in this region. Troops are still winning in that region. Um, this this counterattack is just... This, this counterattack is the one we need to push on. Okay. We just need to completely push them out. Um, Baden. All these little guys. Ah, oh, man. Gibraltar. Victory, victory, of course. Um, we got the capital. Um, we have all of our fronts over here still guarded, so I'm not going to do anything right there. I'm going to move my troops right there. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so over here it's starting to become a little bit sticky. Um, move in slightly right there. Oh, man. Goodness. Yeah, we want to make sure that we keep a good front. Okay, we have way more troops, but they could be dug in. The beliefs must be respected. Um, okay, we got Haldor. Go right here to Godzilla. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now we have Baden. Baden's still trying to get us down. The Russians still don't learn that they should not attack me while I have gas attacks enabled. They just up and charge my ranks. Wow. Um, I've, ne I've never seen that strategy work. I, I, that's a good strategy, Russia. If it wasn't for the fact I didn't have gas attacks. If I didn't have gas attacks, that probably would have worked, but... My army, my army is just completely destroying them. Uh, we're having the utmost advantage in this entire war now. There is not much they can really do. Except I lost my first battle in Wattenberg. In a very long time, but how's our battle score going? We're doing pretty good right now. We're... We're having a little bit of a battle over here. Um,